Um, I want to uh, I want to welcome Commissioner Rick Dyer, who is here. I want to thank Commissioner Dyer for being here this morning. Uh, I know we have a Bedford Police Chief Tim George is here as well, um, and uh, assorted other folks uh, you'll be hearing from a little bit along the way. Can you give a quick update on TPP and where you where you stand on TPP? Well, trade promotion. Uh, well, uh, Trans Pacific. Trans uh, the Trans Pacific Partners. Partnership and TPA. So those are the two. The president has asked for support for both. TPP hasn't formally finished being negotiated yet, um, and so I'm waiting to see what that shows. Clearly, in the in Oregon, um, a lot of our jobs are dependent on trade both ways. Uh, we export a lot of what we grow. Uh, we export a lot of what we make. Um, there is a, a being on the Pacific Rim. Trade is a very important underpinning of our economy. Uh, I want to see how the agreements work. We need to continue to push into other markets with our goods and tear down their barriers because we sure seem to open our markets a lot. Uh, trade promotion authority the president asked for in the State of the Union address. It was one of those rare instances where most Republicans uh, applauded and most Democrats sat on their hands. You know, usually it's the other way when the president wants up. Um, but the other party kind of goes the other way. TPA worked under uh, uh, Bill Clinton and under George Bush. Uh, and I think can, although I, I, I just got to tell you, I'm reticent about giving this president additional authority. Uh, and so I'm, I'm struggling with that one. I've supported it in the past. What it is, is it, it allows an up or down vote by Congress on trade agreements. And, and I think there's value in saying that's a better route than saying Congress is going to renegotiate a trade agreement. I, I think that makes it really hard uh, to ever get any, uh, have your negotiators really be empowered. Um, I think an up or down is, is good, um, so we'll see. We'll see where it plays out. I don't think we can afford to outsource any more jobs, so I hope you vote against it. Yeah. Well, we have to look at it in the context as it bring jobs here, too. Because we actually, I, I mean, you think about what we raise here, you think about if, if we have to eat all the grain we grow, um, you know, we're, we're not going to work. So there's a lot of this export-import, and you got to get it right. And I want to make sure that what we manufacture here, what we grow here, that we aren't shut out of markets unfairly when they get to come into ours. 